so it's Monday night and we're now going to meet, well I'm going to meet, uh, three of my mates and we're going out for an Indian tonight. So we try to meet up every month to do this. Um, we haven't actually done it this year yet, I don't think. I don't think, maybe we did in January, who knows. But um, yeah, we're gonna go out tonight, uh, have a nice little get together. One of my mates got engaged today, so nice little celebrate celebration. God, I can't speak today, but yeah. Time to go out and enjoy ourselves. My the phone's gonna probably die any second. But you're joining me for a midweek run. I'm gonna run every single day this week because this is the last week I get to do before next week, which is the taper week. Then we have my challenge. As you can tell, because I'm going on short runs, the pace is a lot quicker than normally. So I'm running about seven and a half minute mile at the moment. And have been for a mile and a half. And that's it. And this is how knackered I am. Anyways, make sure you subscribe because the week of the challenge I'm going to be doing a different video every single day. Keeping you up to date on my progress. I better go. Because I'm out of breath and I can't talk. Oh. So now I'm going to show you how you easy win on a scratch card. Here we have a scratch card. And we're now going to show you how you win. Lose! I never win. I'm just going to show you what I've, what I've won. You haven't won nothing yet. None. Nope. Losers, aren't we? So that's going to be my next video, showing you what a con the National Lottery are. Say, uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, look here, I'm on the radio. Suffolk is in the final stages of getting ready for a challenge in his memory. Curtis High from Lurstoft is taking on the ultimate Ironman challenge to raise funds for the Taylor High Memorial Fund. If you want to listen to the full interview, information in the section below. Yeah. So you're joining me for the run again. And today we're up at seven o'clock, running along Lurstoft seafront. I'm sorry that you probably cannot hear me because of the wind. So have a look. Beautiful day. And we're getting the last long run done before the grueling week of hell. Well, uh, hope you're all well at home. And I hope that my training has slightly in some way inspired you guys to do more. Uh, to the wind turbine. Again, just wanted to say, oh, these are what get me through my runs. I have these every five miles. They're literally just energy sachets. Oh, but I'm really enjoying the views today. We're now going past the wind turbine. Time to get that little boost of energy six miles down. Hello. Here I am again, post run. Another beautiful day. Oh, that was hot today and I literally struggled. Oh, there's my heart rate coming down. Um, today we managed 15 miles. Realistically, that is my last long run before the marathon. Wore this headband today. I'm now gonna show you something horrendous. Ah, oh, it's not that bad. Nothing come out, but it's wet. Um, but yeah, just to quickly say, if you haven't seen this week, what I'm now going to post is a post by Anthony Agogo, um, who is going to be joining me on the row. Um, he's got, you know, really supportive of what we're doing and helping me raise money as well. So I'm going to play that video now at the end of this week's vlog. Um, but yeah, if you have 
any spare change at all, you know, whatever you can donate would be much appreciated. We're trying to raise 2,000, I'm almost there, I might go 1,000, 200 or 300, something like 64% of the way. Um, but yeah, anything you can donate, this is the information below, justgiven.com forward slash Curtis High. It's all for a great cause. Um, and I'm putting my body through hell for you guys. <sighs> Here's Ant. Even and all, even and all, I'm on the rowing machine. I've got I've got a big session planned. Um, I'll do a lot of work on the rowing machine. It's, it's a great piece of equipment for your for your fitness. However, today is not about fun. Today is about training because in, in in two weeks time, Tuesday the 18th of April, I'm uh, I'm doing a 37,000 meter row, which is the width of the uh, the English Channel. Um, with a good friend of mine, Curtis High, we're raising money for his brother's charity, the Taylor High Memorial Fund. It's it's a great charity, you know, it really, really is. Curtis, he's, he's a top, top bloke. He has set out, he's got a week of the most brutal Ironman challenges you, you can imagine. I mean, he, he's run marathons, he, he's cycling 50 miles, he's climbing the height of the Eiffel Tower. We're rowing 37,000 meters together. He's swimming, it's, it's gonna be horrendous. And he's, he's, he's gonna finish on Sunday, Monday to Sunday. On Sunday, he finishes with the London Marathon and uh, the world's best marathon. So, I mean, it's, it's a great cause, you know, and I'm going to play my part, I'm going to meet up with him on Tuesday, we're going to roll together, 37k, anybody who rolls knows that's, that's, that's no mean feat, you know, add all the other things he's doing as well, it's, um, you no know, top marks curse, you get all my respect mate, you really, really do, like I said guys, I'm going to be doing videos now for the next 10, 12 days or so, up until the, the 37k roll, if you guys can put your hands in your pocket and, and raise money for this fund, it really, really is a tremendous fund, and then um, Curtis I, I mean, I'll, I'll be tweeting him, I'll be Instagramming him. If you guys can kind of follow him, give him, uh, give him some support, give him some love because you no, know, he's, he's going to need it. He's up for, he's really up against it. But if you guys could be hands in your pocket, like I said, and raise money for this, for this tremendous, tremendous cause, they'll be much appreciated. All right, enough talking, son. Let's get to work. Oh, army. So just finished training, uh, it's a bit of a tough one. This week I'm hitting it pretty tough because next week is the deload week where I have a little bit of a chill out. But yeah, just finished, as you can probably see, it's an absolute beautiful day. So I'm now gonna go spend some time, got about two hours until my next client, so I'm gonna go spend some time with little Ollie and Amy. Enjoying the sun, hopefully, and uh, a little bit of a relaxed time. So, uh, worked hard. Deserve it, I think. Here got my big boy. Say hi, Daddy! Yay! So you're joining me on this week's climb. So Mummy's working nights tonight. So it's about seven o'clock in the afternoon. Normally Ollie's bedtime, and we've decided to go on a nice little walk. Uh, it's really peaceful because the sun's basically setting over there. And uh, as you can see, Ollie's almost fallen asleep. And uh, I'm gonna go on a nice little 10 minute walk. So we're currently on a walk again. But this time we're going down Everett's Park, as you can see. So this is literally my favourite view of the whole town. Um, Mummy's still abed, so me and Ollie have decided we're going to go to Lidl's and we're going to go get a load of barbecue food. And because it's so nice, we're going to have a barbecue today. That's the plan anyway. Oh, there's my little bubbies. One thing I've got to show the camera today. Hang on. Well, when you have a barbecue, there's one way to put the salt on there. So it's the end of the week now. Last day, me and Ollie are now chilling because it's now bedtime, isn't it, buddy? But this week is my deload week, um, so there's going to be no exercise. 
maybe one little run just to keep me ticking over. But yeah, plenty of rest, plenty of um, Epsom salt baths, and plenty of stretching all ready for one week's time when the challenge starts. Remember, you can donate, link is below, and appreciate everybody who does. Have a great week, and remember, subscribe to the channel. Now, make sure when you subscribe, you press the bell as well so that you get notifications, and then you won't miss any of these videos.